On today's video, I'm going to make a local net cable to use on our Digitrax DCC system. Hi friends, my name's Steven and this is my channel, Signal Up Productions, where I make videos all about trains. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, click that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new video. Now let's get crimping. Okay, so Digitrax uses a six wire cable, a flat telephone cable, and they use this cable uh, to create a network between all of their devices, the command station, to the individual throttle jacks, to the signal uh, decoders and the switch decoders and all of those different accessories that you can get. Uh, local net cable uh, connects and daisy chains between each one of those things. Now, it's not a standard uh, telephone cable design, so you can't just use a six wire uh, pre-made telephone cable because of how the uh, connectors are crimped onto that cable. They're in a different orientation than what we need for the local net cable. So uh, we're going to get just some flat six wire telephone cable. Uh, and we are going to get some RJ12 six conductor six pin connectors. Uh, we're going to start by prepping the wire. Uh, get a nice clean flush straight and cut off there. We're going to use our multiple uh, crimping tool here for uh, telephone connectors. Uh, it's got a razor knife uh, um, stripper on it to strip just the right amount of shielding off of that. You don't want to press down too hard on that because then it'll slice through the insulation on the individual wires underneath. But once we take that off there, now we have our six wires exposed. You can see the wire on uh let's see that would be your left side uh from the video there is a white wire then it goes uh, black red green yellow and blue so uh, the way that i do this is uh, i have the white wire i just remember it like this white is not right and we have that on my not right side the left side there and i have the tab the tab of the connector pointing down so the pins are looking up at me and I use this same standard on every connection that I make. So I slip the crimp connector onto the wire that I've prepped. I find the uh, proper uh, crimping hole there for this type of connector, which is the RJ12 or uh, the six pin, six pin connector. Make sure I put it in there with the tab facing down. Slide that all the way in there. It's a simple press down with the crimper. And that's now solid on there. The pins inside the plastic connector uh, puncture through the uh, insulation on the individual wires to make the actual connection. So it's just that simple. So what makes the local net cable special is that by prepping the other side here, we'll go ahead and make that a nice clean square cut. Same thing, uh, let's see if we can get the camera up here a little bit closer from my perspective. Let's see what we have here. And we see that uh, on this stripper uh, part of the crimp, crimp tool, uh, it has a spacer where I can put the insulation just far enough, cut down with the razor blades, kind of rock it back and forth to peel that insulation off there, revealing the four wires uh, behind the gray insulation. So again, I have the white is not right. I want that white conductor on the left side. I want the tab of the connector facing away from me. We have it like that. We slip our crimp tool down uh, onto the, uh, come on, why aren't you going in there? There we go. Make sure it's all firmly set in there nice and straight. Crimp that down. It doesn't take much, and we have successfully made a local net cable. Turn the camera back around here so you can see what's going on. There we go. So now we have a local net cable, and if uh, we held the connectors up to each other with the same orientation, we can see that the white is not right on both connectors. 
but uh, I'll show you in this image this graphic here on the computer right now so what we essentially did because it's a flat six conductor cable uh, if we laid it out flat we'd have the tab of one end facing up and the tab of the other end facing back down opposite uh, that is what creates uh, the proper orientation for the cable so that it matches up with um, how the local net cable needs to be to connect to the different devices on our DCC system. All right, so now we've got all that done. It's just a simple matter of plugging that cable in to one end of our command station and then to the back of our throttle jack. And we have successfully created a local net network. Making local net cables for your Digitrax DCC system is pretty simple and straightforward. Some flat telephone wire, six conductor flat telephone wire, some six conductor, uh, six pin RJ12 crimp connectors, um, and a really good crimping tool like that that's got the built-in stripper uh, and the crimper all together as one. Um, allows you to make uh, local net cables exactly the length you need between your different devices. Uh, keeps your wiring under your layout neat and orderly. And uh, you can buy this all on the internet, just doing a Google search for the different parts and pieces that you need. Thanks for watching the video. If you have any comments, leave those down below. And if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. See you guys on the next video.